What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. I got something really cool here for Bat, a uh, 2008 Callaway Corvette. It's a 580 uh, model, so it's 580 horse, and uh, it's it's a roadster. Very very nice car, triple black, and uh, pretty excited to actually be able to sell this. We're selling it no reserve, and so which means at the end of the day, someone's going to win this car. So there's no guessing game, and uh, as you guys already know, I'm kind of kind of risky when I do stuff. So. Uh, but they'll just let the market speak for itself. We're gonna hit, go ahead and uh, show you all the lights. I know it's a, a newer rig, but I just wanna show you how everything's working and things. You've got your marker lights, headlights, You've got your fog lamps working down there, and the bright lights. And uh, we'll just show the blinkers real fast here. You've got your left, and you got your right. You know, the car overall is in really good condition, super fast, I, don't, I won't tell you how I know. And, uh, but it's it's very quick and uh, but very tameable for sure you know with the Callaway edition they put a power bowl to it on it and uh, looks cool and you can see the supercharged emblems right there and it does have a clear bra on it the cars only got 15,000 miles and uh, clean car fax they got a clear bra on the front but you will see a little I just want to show you a little stuff there's a little tiny chip right there that has been touched up. But overall, I haven't really seen much on the car other than that. Um, maybe a couple other little fine ones from being driven, but overall, nice shape. When I put it up on my lift, you'll see a, a few little scuffs underneath here, but uh, again, nothing major. You can see the wheels, you know, they're black as well. No curb rash or anything like that. Tires are from 2016, you got 245, 4018s on the front and they're staggered you got 30 i think they're yeah 305 35 19s on the back but you know there's no uh chips or anything on the side uh here the clear bra is right here too that's just a little wax along the edge but there's a little clear bra so it, you know finger nails and stuff don't scratch you can see the callaway there on the bottom i got all the documentation and everything and what's kind of cool about uh, callaway the new owner will be able to take the car and uh, have their name uh, switched on the, the ownership paperwork. And uh, we'll just take a look at the back here. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You know, thing sounds great. You can see it's got, uh, you know, the lights are working, brake lights. Go ahead and turn the tail lights on. Blinkers. You got reverse. You know, everything's working down there. And this is also an option too with the slats here. And uh, they also put new exhaust on it, but um, at Callaway. So we'll flip it around and I'll show you the other side. Here we're on the driver's uh, side. You know, again, no, no signs of any accidents or anything like that. I can see one little tiny Little that might be able to be buffed. I haven't buffed it or anything like that, but little tiny little scratch. I think that could probably be buffed out. Might even try it. And uh, but overall, of course, pretty pretty nice. You know, the, below the rockers look great, and uh, we'll show you the top working here in a minute. Tops in in great shape, and I haven't seen any chips or anything on the windshield. Again, very very clean. We'll just take you across the front here. Let you see the wheels again. And uh, let me show you the back wheel here. And no uh, curb rash or anything like that. We'll go ahead and uh, show you the top. You know, it's a canvas top, great condition. And that's uh, a power top. how it does that and then uh, to put it back up you just reverse the process I 
I have noticed when this comes down, it barely touches touches that uh, little piece there. And uh, you want to have your arm out of there and that fork goes back down. But anyways, uh, there's the top you can see here. Looks really nice, no wear or anything like that. And uh, we'll show you the interior. Okay, here's the interior. Took the top down so you can just see it a little bit better. And uh, we'll open the door here in a minute. It's got, uh, comes with two remotes. The battery, I believe, is uh, dead on, on the other remote. And uh, I'll probably check it and see if I can put a new one in it. But you can see here the, the dash is in uh, really nice condition. Door panels look good. These Callaway scuff plates are nice. You can see some little scratches and stuff from, uh, you know, feet dragging going in. A couple little scuffs right there, and uh, a couple little scuffs right there on the seat. And uh, but other other ways, um, that's probably the only flaws really in the interior. You can see here it's got an escort radar detector that comes with it, and uh, it's got a actually backup camera. Yeah, Pioneer uh, stereo system as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, hop in here and I'll start it up. You can see the traction control. I like when this thing first starts up. You gotta put your foot on the brake. A little push button here. I get kind of enthralled about new cars because I'm not used to this uh, this stuff, and I like how it's screened Chevrolet and stuff up there. You can see the miles, 15,365, and uh, you can see the gauges all look good. Everything's working. You can see here the radio. It's going to show you the backup camera. You can see that. That's kind of nice to to have. In this car, you can see the Callaway uh, ID number there as well. It's got heated seats, both sides, and uh, you know, it's a newer car with all the amenities, but tons of power. And uh, I'll hop out and uh, show you it from the other side. You know, here we're on the passenger side. Again, the seat looks really good. Power seats on both sides. Glove box. There's the uh, all the codes. We'll take a picture of that for you. Original owner's manual and stuff. You'll see pictures of that. See the door panels look good. And uh, go ahead and uh, I'll pop the trunk. good. A couple little compartments on each side there. So We'll go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the hood. You know, it looks great underneath the hood. And uh, again, no sign of any accidents. There's the VIN number on the dash. And uh, actually, there's a Callaway uh, VIN uh, plate underneath uh, the uh, controls there on the center console. But overall, engine's awesome looking. You can see Callaway 580 right there. CSX, CS2000. Uh, I almost said CSX2000 for uh, the original uh, Cobra. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you can see here. You know, engine's very, very clean, and uh, we haven't uh, did any detailing or anything uh, on it. You can see there's a little tiny dust there. I haven't sprayed a bunch of uh, car dealer stuff on it, so just want to keep it clean. Hey, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the Corvette. I know it's a 2008, fairly new rig, but I still want to put it underneath the lift so you can see different things about it and uh, 
So we'll just start here from the front uh, to the back. You can see here the tires are in really good condition and uh, they were built in uh, 2016. You can see the date code on it and they're uh, 245, 40, 18s. The back are uh, 305, 35 by 19s, so a little bigger and uh, you know definitely wider. But we'll just start here in the, the front around the engine and different stuff. You can see the boot is in good condition you know it's not cracked or anything brake lines everything look good you don't see any cracking and uh look in nice shape i've seen little tiny oil residue and stuff just you know kind of normal stuff but nothing that i'd be concerned with in general you know around the engine and uh it looks real good overall and uh you can see here this brake line looks in really good condition and uh, you can see a few little scrapes up here on the front you know again very minor just right up against that and over here on this this side and uh, a couple little little light things here i mean obviously you're not going to see any of that why it's uh sitting on the ground but you know basically it's probably when you know got close to a curb stuff just normal driving and stuff but you can see the floorboards look really really good and uh, you know no rust on the frame or anything it is very sound you know I love the exhaust on it and uh, just tucks all the way here in the back and it looks good this was an option on the Callaway I already talked about that earlier but um, yeah, the exhaust is just just awesome, these stainless pipes and uh, mufflers and stuff back here. But uh, we'll go ahead and just look at the floor one more time. And uh, nothing's hit the bottom or anything like that. Look around here to the back. You know, nothing looks out of the ordinary. The boots look good. Let's see up there. Go ahead and look at the boots on this side. You know, no, no signs of any cracking or anything, and uh, they look real good. Let's we'll look at the bottom here on the back of the car. Go ahead and look at the tires as well on the back. You know, you can see the the wear bar. I mean, there's a lot of tread on these tires, and uh, you know, notice how there's nothing on the middle. I mean, these these tires probably hook up pretty good and uh i'll just show you the date code on this one here it's the same as the front and uh wheels look really good and uh, no curb rash or anything and uh look nice you can see the disc brakes back there and uh so anyways i uh hope that gives you just a good idea underneath what it looks like and uh, not many people are going to show you the newer car underneath but um you know i did so if you got questions, uh, give me a call. Uh, you can make comments on the auction and stuff, or um, you know, send by someone by to take a look at it if you like. So, thank you.